Well, you guys have asked, so therefore I must deliver. Although this 2K banger is not a gameplay, as you read by the title, this is why I think 2K21 Current Gen was one of the laziest game productions I've ever seen. What is good, y'all? LLDJ here, and this video is basically gonna be be me comparing 21 to 20 just to show exactly how lazy this game was so without further ado let's just hop straight into it now first we have play now in which besides these screens it really hasn't changed whatsoever especially since this is is gameplay from play now that I'm showing you guys right now and even the format is just they could have did anything else here like like there's so much potential just for playing out itself that just wasn't like that just wasn't really it's hard for me to say it but it's just lazy to me and next we have play now online and yes, there is a Play Now Online community here. It's just they are not happy with it being the exact same format. If you go to Play Now Online, then you would see that it's a literally exactly the same copy paste from 2K20. There was a lot of that this year, Co more of a copy and pasted format, and basically the matchmaking in the every single aspect besides the game part itself in which the only thing I can really say one of, one of the only things I can say really changed about between 21 to 20 any reverse but but you know it's literally the same and from the play now online community it's literally the same and so next we have my team something that this game actually did right because it's one of the four things that actually got changed this year my team is still constantly updating they did an entire they added more to it they redid the cards like my team was the one thing that they did right no matter how bad the pack odds are the auction house be broken sometimes but there was probably no way they were avoiding that. I'm just proud that they actually made a change to something and, and gave people a reason to actually buy this game besides the fact that it's 2K and not NBA Live. And now we have 2K Beach in my career. I'm just gonna go through piece by piece about this was a change, but this was a change for the worst. At the start, we have the My Career and My Build Tester both being exactly the same. And, but the pie charts are worse. Like, I get the shooting centers, the two-way slashing plays, but... Those were kinda fun, though. In my opinion, at least. Yes, it was wasn't great to guard. It's just you could make one too. It's I have no idea why they made the pie charts worse and had to balance everything, but you know they did at the end of the day. But like I said, the testing your build is still exactly the same. And, and the my career story, bro. I want to make an entire video about the story alone. That was garbage, bro. I was immaculate trash. Do you know how many people I could have thought of to make a better basketball story, bro? Yes, you play in high school and in college. But, like... What happened off, what happens off the court is so unrealistic and I don't even feel like I have a lot of control over my player in that. It's my career, isn't it, 2K? It's my career. 
Like, why, why don't I have control over, like, anything? There's, like, scripted events, like, when you sprain your ankle and stuff. But, I feel like I should have more control, and the story should be better. Like, my experience and the plot are both trash. But, past my career, we get to 2K Beach where Ronald finally changes the park even though apparently according to him we can believe whatever we want I have no idea why they put 2k beach this year instead of last year because since next gen is out and they did an entire city 2k beach is just gonna fall into obscurity in a way just no one's gonna remember this for being 2k beat they're gonna remember for 2k changing the park which they should have just did and you know it's just the way a that it's kind of like rushed in that sense like why would you do 2k beach each if you're gonna do this entire huge city not even it's kinda off topic but I don't like how long it takes for me to run everywhere here and I almost forgot they removed every single cutscene to where after this amazing story and plot you promised there there's no emotion after you make it to the league that all of the cutscenes are gone and i just feel like that makes it bland in a way y'all see the screen there's nothing to say there is nothing for me to talk about about how my league is the same it's been the same since 19. it's legitimately a waste of breath to talk about this next slide and now we're talking about how this does make it five things get off me peeing but the fifth thing that they changed is that you could edit WNBA rosters now this yes is a good improvement but uh, well I don't know how many people really asked for this but you know it's there air in maybe you wanna make girls some of the girls faster able to dunk you know but, you know, I don't know how much it would really matter, even if they hadn't had implemented this. Not saying it's very unnecessary, but it, it's the only one of those small things that is just like, oh, it's good to, you know, have that this game actually did, which has virtually none. But, um, I guess that'll wrap up the video. I really just wanted to really rant on how compared to next gen they really could have did so much more with this game and they just didn't like i don't know what the devs of current gen didn't see that the devs of next gen were doing like i really just don't get it and this game was just wasted potential in my opinion and i just feel like i had to talk about it so well, if y'all all agree, then y'all can hit that like button, and I guess I'll see y'all next time. Peace.